Formulas are critical to mathematics as they allow large equations to be calculated using various functions. In most of the examples we demonstrated so far, we used simple scenarios with only two numbers and calculated the result. In all production environments, you will encounter situations where more than two numbers are added, subtracted, multiplied, or divided through the use of a mathematical formula. Formulas may incorporate many different components, such as parentheses and fractions, to control the order in which the numbers are calculated. When using formulas, it is a good practice to write down the answer as you go along so that you do not lose track of what you are calculating. A simple example of a formula is the list we calculated earlier to demonstrate addition. The following numbers were added to determine the total production for five days, which equal 1,535. The benefit to using such a formula is that you can calculate the total number of parts produced for any week of production. Order of operations will ensure that formulas with parentheses, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction are taking place in the proper sequence. When performing a calculation, there are three rules of thumb that must be followed. Rule of thumb 1. Calculate anything within parentheses first. Parentheses can be used to separate critical equations from the rest of the formula. Once all the calculations within the parentheses are completed, the result can be applied to the rest of the equation. Using this formula, we first calculate the total daily production during five days, and then divide the result by five days. When performing the calculation, the parentheses ensure that the five numbers inside the parentheses are totaled first. Once totaled, the resulting equation will be 1,535 divided by 5. Once calculated, the average daily production for these five days is 307 parts. This equation can then become a general formula to determine the average production for any five days. In some cases, formulas may often be displayed as a fraction. This equation would be handled in the same way. The top would be calculated first, and then the result would be divided by 5. Rule of thumb 2. Multiply and divide from left to right. Multiplication and division have higher priority than addition and subtraction. To solve this equation, you must first calculate 24 divided by 2 to get 12. Then calculate 12 divided by 4 to get the final result of 3. If parentheses are used in a similar equation, you must first complete the calculation in the parentheses. Start with 2 divided by 4 to get 0 0.5. Next, calculate the formula from left to right. 24 divided by 0 0.5 to get the final result of 48. Rule of thumb 3. Add and subtract from left to right. Addition and subtraction functions are always performed after the multiplication and division are complete. In this equation, we calculate 10 minus 3 first to get 7. Then we calculate 7 minus 2 to get the final result of 5. An equation such as this one may look intimidating, but the order of operations will help you break it up into easier pieces. Since you must first calculate what's in the parentheses, start by calculating 20 divided by negative 4, resulting in negative 5. Second, calculate the multiplication and division from left to right. 
2 times negative 5 equals negative 10. And 10 divided by 5 equals 2. Third, calculate the addition and subtraction from left to right. 1 minus negative 10 equals 11. And 11 plus 2 equals 13. Again, the order of operations are as follows. First, calculate items in parentheses. Second, multiply and divide from left to right. Third, add and subtract from left to right.